are so puffy. Uh. Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Crazy One with your girl TQ. Hey, guys. And we are back with audio. Yes, we have audio. <laughs> so you can hear us. You can hear us. Sorry <laughs> for all the uh, sorry for the mishap. Um, we thought we had audio, but we had to, we kind of rearranged the set a little bit. Um, so uh, I guess a wire was disconnected, and we thought we had audio, but now we're back with audio. How you guys doing? I'm, I'm, I was nervous. I can honestly say uh, I was sort of almost terrified <laughs> to watch this episode. I didn't know what to expect. Season eight has been, it seems it's like. It's been a roller coaster. On. It's been like a roller coaster and I was like stuck to like, what am, what's going to happen? I'm nervous. And I told you when it first came, before it came on, you know how they say they do the countdown. I was like, yo. I don't know if I want to watch it. I was so nervous, the anticipation to see <laughs> what were they going to do to us after this long time. So we're going to kick, we're going to kick it off. We got our, our, our notes that we're going to um, follow. But before we get started, please, uh, if you are new to the Theater Hoppers, please like the page and share this broadcast out, especially yes. for anybody that you know who has watched the Game of Thrones season fi uh, series finale. I keep saying season. Series finale. series finale. Share that out to everybody. Let's get them in the conversation because we definitely got some stuff to talk about today. So um, on the first thing I want to say is I'm just going to get it out the way. I thought this episode was very underwhelming. Like, I, it, it was... An, eh. I, I, I wanted more. Vern just said the same thing. He was like, I, I really thought that it would be more i expected that he said the final episode was meh for him very dull and boring expected more but it is what it is and they should have went out like the cosby's did <laughs> i mean i i, I, I thought the they should have went sequence no nah, i thought they should have went out like uh i thought they should have went out like fresh prince you know what yeah. i'm saying uh, with you know hey we're moving and you've got will just standing there and look with the empty right. you know um, I thought they should have well, just... sort of did. They showed everybody going to their next, whatever their next is. Right. And, but, I mean, it... Like, there, there was... Like, I feel that there could have been so much more done in this episode. I thought that um, there should have been a clear-cut winner of the throne by action. Because that's what yeah. this all was... This, that's what this was all about. Um, I mean, there was some funny moments, but let's just kick it I off. I think it ended quickly. I think it ended at the beginning. Yeah. It ended before it actually ended. It right. ended like 15 minutes in, and that was basically the end of the show. So let's kick this off from the top. Um, it starts off with a very, very silent stroll through a chart, King's Landing. Yes. Um, you see Tyrion just kind of walking through and just seeing the... The decimation, the carnation is yeah. just, it was just really bad. Like, yeah. it, I, it was hard to watch because watching it is like you remember everything that happened, especially when they do the little clips beforehand. Yeah. But to remember everything and to remember that she said she wouldn't do it. Right. And I think he felt at that moment, he really felt betrayed. He looked and he's like, yo, this is. I believed in her, and this is what happened. Maybe I was wrong. He says it through the the whole the whole but episode. It, I was wrong. But it was more so from the fact that his brother died in this, rather than you said you was gonna do it, but you didn't. It was like you said you was gonna do it, but you didn't. And now because of it, my brother is dead. Right now, he didn't really care too much for his sister. Right, but my brother is dead. And the only friend he had in the world. Right. That's what he calls him. The only friend he had in the world is is dead. And again, to him, 
although he would say, I betrayed her, she really betrayed me. Right. And he said, I betrayed her and I would do it again, especially now that I know what she would do. I would definitely do it but again. But he kept saying, Varys was right. Varys was right. right. Varys was right. And Varys was right the Dude, entire the whole time. Thing, the whole thing, he was right. He was definitely right. Right. So uh, that, that was, it, it was kind of a, a, a somber thing. And then, and then after a couple of moments, you see one guy, he just looked like a, a zombie just walking yeah. past you. Charred and, all and the way just, down. And then... That's when they cut a little bit wider to Tyrion, and then you see Davos and Jon Snow in the background, right. and then we add a little bit of sound to the mix, and we see, you know, what's really going on. But with that, they also stroll upon an execution, and this was like, uh, this with was Grey Worm and the yeah, uh, this... the, the uh, remaining soldiers from uh, King's Landing that right. followed Cersei's. Yep. And it was, it was, it, you know how you have those people that say, I told you so, and you don't want to say, I told you so, right. <laughs> but he was following. And even, even that I can hear you saying she's turning into those people that she did not want to turn right. into. She is becoming a cog in the wheel. Right. She, she was really turning into that treacherous leader that. There's no mercy anywhere. We don't show mercy to anybody. Although the city is clearly charred and gone and we clearly won, they have to die. Now, here's the first strike that I'm going to give this episode because um, I, I clearly have my notes written down for this one. Um, so we had the Unsullied um, executing the soldiers and John tries to stop them. Then Davos comes in and tries to reason with them. He was like, look. They're on their knees. They're unarmed. We won. Like right. you don't. And he was like, "Well, what? Are, what are the orders from the queen to 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 kill anyone who follows Cersei Lannister?" So there was a preconceived notion that, yo, right. if they follow her, you kill them. Right. And she like, okay, so that was that was that was laid out and that was established. But a beat that they really really missed. Mm -hmm. They had this face off, this real mean face off between John and, and Grey Worm. Worm. Yeah. And at that moment, I just knew we was going to see some kind of fight and one of I those two was going to die. I think we should have. Yeah. We should have. And that was a moment that was like because you called it last week. You said yeah. that it that those two were going to go at it. Right. Um, for basically the loyalty faction of. Well, not, not even because I already knew that John was going to turn. I knew that John was going to do what he did, just not the way he that he did it. Yeah. I knew that there was going to be some sort of revolt against Cersei and we were going to see some sort Daenerys. of battle. I mean, I mean, revolt against Daenerys and we were going to see a battle between John and Grey Worm. All we got was a wrestling stare off. Like, yeah. And, and that was it. And I'm like, oh, man, you missed something that could have been there could so. Have been, yeah, that could have been a great that fight. That could have been so great. If we would have had that, the one of the best fighters in Westeros who survived multiple battles with the with the uh, White Walkers and with Death. other folk and <laughs> Death yeah, and everything else. <laughs> mul multiple uh, battles that he's won and proven that he was the one of the best swordsmen versus the master of the Unsullied, the dude that wills the spare like no other. I, I'm, I'm selling this like it's a pay-per-view. You know what I'm saying? It could, and it could have been that. It could have been that epic. It's Westeros versus Essos in the Battle of the Seven Realms. Like, you know, it was it was like that. that. Yes. It was that. It was that. <laughs> and then what do we and then what do we end up getting? Yeah, the stare off. A stare off. Yeah, they, it could have been. It could have went so much they might further. As well, they might as well have been like, "Yo, that's your mother on the bridge. What you gonna do?" Right. They might and as then, well. And then walk. And then walk fast. Right. I mean, that's that's what they might as well have done because it was like you set you set it up, and you didn't knock it out the park. Right. So that was my first strike with that one. But I'm thinking that okay, we're gonna see it later. And we we never we, we never, never saw, saw it, it. and yeah. I'm, I'm I'm kind of bummed about that. I think there could have been again so many so much other things could have happened um, to make this a great season finale. Right. I think there uh, there was entirely too many missed opportunities to make this episode great. Yeah. 
Um, so now we have uh, Tyrion who wants to go and find. Uh, he said, "I want to go find my brother." Yeah. And um, he knew where he told him to meet him. Right. Um, where they would be safe if anything would happen. And he saw when he once he saw that mountain of rocks blocking the entrance. Yeah. I think he knew. Yeah, it's a wrap. But there's but there's a thing now. I'm I'm gonna go into my geek mind here and go into the filmmaking stuff. Um, if anybody did not know, um, when he was uncovering the rubble, once mm -hmm. he saw the hand, they were playing the song "Reigns of Castamere," which is the song that they played when. Not it must have been Red Wedding. It was the Red Wedding. <laughs> it must have been the Red Wedding. In order for you to point it to me, you had to that had because that's one thing that I do remember. I, I gave you a layup. Okay. Yeah. True. <laughs> so. Um, so they played the song Reigns of Castamere in, in a different, you know, way than what the song was supposed to, the song was originally performed. Um, but they played the song nonetheless, meaning, and whenever that song plays, you know that somebody has died that was close to somebody in some sort of way. Right. It's, it was really the song of death in, in this series. So when you heard that Reigns of Castamere, uh, the music, the, the, the melody, yeah. You, you knew this was coming. And for those of you who don't know, the actual Red Wedding episode is named The Reigns of Castamere. So um, they never they never named the title what happened in the show. It's always off. Uh, it's always yeah. something left field. And they never, they never uh, released the title because I guess it'll give away some sort of spoilers or something like that. So... Uh, about midnight tonight or whatever, they'll actually add the, add title, the title to the thing. So when this pops up on YouTube tomorrow, you'll, you'll see it with the actual it. title. Um, so yeah, so you you he saw Jamie and Cersei, and they kind of had the whole Pompeii thing. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna hug each other, and you know, this is how we're gonna go out. The and ashes, that was like, the ashes yeah, and dust to dust. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then. Once that happens, we switch to outside, the grand entrance of the queen with yes. some really, really disturbing yet very cool imagery. Yes. Um, Her unsullied uh, were, as they normally are, very organized, very sharply put, very well ranked, and the, the Thraki behind her acting crazy because that's what they do. Right. <laughs> Until she calls them to order, but they do what they I want to talk do. about her entrance, though. Well, we saw that before we saw her entrance. So after that, it goes to her. No, the dragon comes in, and then she walks out. And when she walks out, that's what you're talking. Yeah, about. that was like the most amazing scenes. Dude, they gave her devil wings yes. in the form of Drogon. Oh my goodness, and that was so. It, it was cool. Like they, they, they literally painted Daenerys as the angel of death. Yeah. Because normally she has on white. She has on white. Right. She went into this battle with all black. I mean, I, granted, I think she was uh, mourning Sunday. Mm -hmm. Um, but she normally has on even in battle. She normally has on white. Um, because you know that that was her. Well, that since was, um, now that you say that, since Sunday died she's had on black right because she even white. wore white um with the battle of the dead yeah so she yep. yeah. she normally wears white except for after that after my sunday died she's been wearing black yeah that's that's very true but they painted her as the angel of death they they used drogon's wings to kind of give that imagery <sighs> to, to that her was so as a photographer i was like yo that is amazing yeah <laughs> Granted, it's all CGI, but... <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. We can Photoshop. We can fix it up. I don't care. It was just amazing to see. Yeah. And just like uh, you mentioned, pointed out, Aria, with the uh, the smoke in the alley. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. They, they, they amazing. Managed, they managed to get a couple of really cool shots yes. um, in this last season. But, um, so she gets out there and then literally turns into, I kid you not, there is a there's there's a lot of controversy behind the season. A mm -hmm. lot of people do not like the season. Yes. What they what they managed to do with this season eight was they managed to turn it into the Star Wars prequels. Okay. <laughs> because Daenerys comes out like Emperor Palpatine after he becomes uh the, when he becomes the emperor 
from Senator or Supreme Chancellor Palpatine and then says, wow. I'm going to restructure the Republic into the first galactic empire and there will be peace and prosperity for all. And he raises his hands in a whole evil thing. And then you had Padme says, this is how liberty dies with thunderous applause. <laughs> All right. Now, that's what happens in Star Wars. What happens in here? She comes in as, uh, you know, the, she comes in as the Dark Queen now. Mm -hmm. All right. And then she comes and she gives this speech yes. that we liberated the people over in, in, in Essos. We liberated every, like every place that was under landings. siege and they were, they were slaves and we liberated them. We made them free men. Now... The war is not over. Like, what you yeah, well, he, she said that. Me, we, we was like, wait a minute. But, but this is the last show. What's the, this is the last episode. What's going on? Like, yo, <laughs> what do you mean the world? The war is not over. You just your goal, like you was know, to take out was to King's take out, was to take out King's Landing. That was it. That was your goal. And with that, the war is over. She's like, nah, 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 nah. Yo. From Winterfell. When she said that, <laughs> my eyes was like, yo, bruh, you can't, no, you can't touch that. that and John's face was like, what do you mean? <laughs> she went full Genghis Khan. Yes. Like, I'm she, going back and I'm taking, I'm like, but there's nobody there for you. Man, you go back and mess with Sansa. You, <laughs> no, okay. no, no. She could have she easily, easily. This is, and this is why what happened later happened. She could have easily when and now there is no army. There was no army that that can oppose her. Well, that's true. There's no that's army. That's true. That is true. Because you mess with that Dothraki, you mess with the Unsullied. All right, Th those two forces right there outnumber anybody else's army in the I entire agree. realm. I agree. Okay. I, so, especially right now, I totally agree with that. So if she wanted to, she could have went on this tyrant's raid, which yes. is the reason why. What happened later happened, but we got a, we got a little bit more business to come up to because Tyrion's now filled with rage. Yes, he does. Yo, Tyrion is the MVP of this entire series, which is the reason why I guess he's getting all the Emmys for this show. Yes. Okay. He so, is the man. He's always been my favorite character through the whole season. He's been my favorite character, even when he is admitting that he's wrong. When he's admitting that he's wrong. He goes up to Daenerys, knows the consequences. Yeah, all right? I'm going against Listen, her. I said that Varys went out like a G last episode. Tyrion is OG. Yes. He goes up to the person who we knows could just have him either speared or burnt on sight. I thought I really thought that she was gonna do it right then. And she and 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 the thing was, she acted like she was gonna instill fear into him. And that was the thing. Yeah. She just she she look he walks next to her while the Dothraki are, are sitting there and they're 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 chanting uh, and they're, they're chanting the unsullied they're banging their um they're banging their spears and everybody's in unison and having a good celebratory for our tyrant slash empress Daenerys and then she just looks at him and says you freed your brother you committed treason and he was like yep I committed treason and you mm -hmm. slaughtered a city. Took his uh, hand that pin off right there and didn't didn't even give it to her. Didn't threw lay it, it out. He threw it. He threw it. And when I that thing hit, gone. that the first unsullied saw that, I was like, "Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a I minute." I said, "He's gone." Yo, <laughs> that has got to be one of the biggest gangster moves. Yeah, I know what I'm up against, and I really don't care. Cause at this point, he knows. He's like, okay. She, basically, she won. John is an idiot because he's not listening. And I just lost the only friend I've ever had. And what is there for me to care about? What What do I have to care for? Listen. I I've, lost, I've lost all hope in the one person I thought could change the world around. And she screwed up. I think, <laughs> and, and I wholeheartedly, I wholeheartedly believe this, but I think that John was actually in fear. Oh yeah, I, I think he for his life. Fear. Yes, not in, not just fear for his life because he's already been dead. Okay, I don't think he fears that. 
I think he fears for his sisters and yes. for his home. Yes. All right. Yes. And he's sitting there like he's walking around and he knows this is wrong. But every time he says it, she's our queen. She's our queen. She's, like, man, if you don't get your whip self out of like, how, wait a minute. You don't even have romantic feelings for her anymore. And you right. still whip. How does that happen? It, it did. It clearly did. How does that happen? And I, I think it was more, I think it was more fear than, it, like you said, more of fear than anything else. It wasn't a matter of him being whipped. It was just strictly out of fear. As long <laughs> as I stay on, as long as I stay on her side, my family is safe. Brian said, I thought he was going to shank her on the stairs. Oh, no. yeah. I was like, he kept saying, don't do, he kept saying, don't, don't do, do it. it. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's, I was like, I, he's so much smarter than that. that I he thought wouldn't. he was going to, I thought he was going to have that blind rage and he he's, was going to try so and much, get intercepted. He wasn't so going to do it. so much smarter than that. Yeah. He knew that if I have, if I'm going to take her, if I'm going to take her down, I can't take her down. Right. It has to be somebody else. But again, Tyrion's a thinker. All right. He knew what was going to happen, yep. but also it was probably going to be the only way that he was going to be able to tell somebody what he needed to tell them without it getting yeah. out. So I'm speculating on that part. I just think he got he, he let his emotions get the best of him. And he got uh, he knew he was going to die. And we all thought that he was going to die at that point. Like, yeah, because yeah, I, mm. I was like, dude, she about to call the dragons. That's it. That, there go Tyrion. Um, <laughs> And again, he has been my fav consistently my favorite character th because something he said at the end, outside of Bran, it's him. Right. Outside of Bran, it would definitely be him. And so I'm like, yo, that, <laughs> yeah, he's gone. <laughs> All right. So real quick before we get into our next topic, please give a share out. Um, to anybody who know who's already seen the episode and wants to talk about it, we want to get this conversation going in here. Also, if you are listening to the conversation, if you're jump in, give us the comments. We'll see something that we that we like and we will uh, read it out and respond to it. Um, that's all about what Talking uh, Thrones is all about. Hey, uh, Rachel. So once um, once this happens, Tyrion gets taken. Daenerys is walking out in formation. Right. Um, and Arya pops up and John was like, listen, just wait for me out. This. She was like, no, 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 no. I know a killer when I see a killer. Don't okay. Do it, bro. Don't just like. She know who you are. And, and she know you the rightful heir. Here, here, here's, here's a parallel I want to present to you. And I want to present to you guys out there. Do, do you ever like, did you ever notice that? John was acting a whole lot like season one, two, and three Sansa. Yes. In this episode, he reverted uh, in this back. Season. He reverted back. Yeah. Yeah. He, he is like it, it, they kind of that little puppy dog type person. I, I I love Joffrey with all of my heart. It's like she's our queen. She's our queen. <laughs> it's like. You keep saying that. <laughs> because that's all he kept saying. Oh Everybody was like, yo, she just killed a whole bunch of women and children that had nothing to do with it. She's our queen. Gonna yo, our she's queen. going mad. She's going about to go take over the world. She's our queen. Like, every answer was, she's our queen. Like, dude, snap out of it. I don't know what kind of cart, what kind of spell she put on you, <laughs> what kind of dragon oh fire she, she put on, whatever. Oh but, dude, you got to snap out of this joint. And it's like, she was like. No. Um, okay, so I know exactly. I know I can tell you what it is, but we got to get to that point. Okay. So. <laughs> like, right after him and uh, Arya has the conversation. You know, he's she's a killer. I know a killer when and it you can see you saw the rage in her building as those those uh bells were tolling. Cause she knew my chance slipped. I'm I don't care. So right. she knew it. But right after that, we go into Tyrion and John. And <sighs> the answer to what to what you you're saying about John is the line that he used. Okay. Love is the death of duty. Okay, now I'm gonna go before that. Why, okay, why? That's... because John, like, see, John was pissing me off this entire yeah, episode. Okay, so John gets in and he starts to talk to Tyrion, and he looks at Tyrion. And he was like, I, "I'm, I can't justify what happened, oh. and I'm <laughs> not gonna try." 
And then and, he starts And talking. then once Tyrion starts to talk and, and start to talk in, in the matter of fact of we have to do something because... Then he starts giving off a whole bunch of reasons of why she did. You started. Ju you just do. No, you just said I'm not going to justify. <laughs> I can't justify. I can't begin to justify. And what do you start doing? Justify, justify it. Like, um, she's our queen. Dre said, said he was mad at her. <laughs> Hashtag punk. <laughs> Dude. Uh, yeah, he was. He no. was a bit. He was a bit on like what happened to the John. Snow from where, where, like, where is the leader? Where is yeah. the season five and six leader? Yeah. Where is the where is the one that that rose to the ranks of the Night's Watch? Where is the one that united the Night's Watch in the Wildlings? Where is the one where that, that got person? to the north and left the king? You left the king and you came back a little punk. <laughs> that's the best, the best word we can use right now. That's, 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 that's the, the word, word I choose to go with. But you know, there's another word that I want to say. That <laughs> you, le you left the king and you came back a little punk. Yeah. Man, we'll, listen. We'll um, but yeah, that's... And I, uh, Rachel said it, that he asked... Uh, Tyrion asked John, do you think uh, Arya, Arya and Sansa, Sansa are going to bend the knee? And you know... <laughs> We knew the answer to that. If he didn't know the answer, everybody was yelling no at the TV screen but at that moment. <laughs> I think that was the tipping point. It wasn't the the um, duty is the death of love, um, but it was that one when he says, do you think Arya and Sansa are going to bend the knee? And we already heard the Emperor Palpatine speech, all right? The Genghis Khan speech, if right. you will. From she, Winterfell was the first house named, the first kingdom named, all right? She yes. that was the first from Winterfell so you knew to she going straight to Winterfell. She going straight to Winterfell, and she she knew. was going after Sansa. Yeah, she was going after Sansa. The hands down. Everybody yeah. knew that. Yeah, everybody knew that. And when when he when he got that question posed to him, he was like, "Yo, my sisters is dead, or at least one of them is dead." Because I Arya, I, I think Arya would have been able to. Yeah, Arya would have got out of there. I don't think she would have. I, I think she would have tried to defend and realize, you know what? There's a better way to do this, and left to build strategy up <laughs> against. Because that's what yeah. she does. Um, but even, but even in that, when he said that was very, very powerful though. Love is the death of duty. Because you said he kept saying, "She's my queen. She's my queen." And you said what had him. It was love took over his loins. sense of loins. His sense loins. of what he was supposed loins. to do. Loins. She did something to him. But then she John turned something. around. But then John turned around and said, "Duty is also can also be the death of love." Yeah. So he knew at that point because in between there, that question about Arya yeah. and Sansa was posed. He screwed her. Found out that she was his aunt. Did not screw her again, but stayed with. Dude, come on, man. man let, let's let's move on. <laughs> you and so, Dre, you and Dre is like really, really mad. Was mad dude, at John <laughs> because, yo, they literally punked him out. Like they, they all, all, all the stuff that that drove us behind Jon Snow. Yeah, he's gonna be the king. He is the most deserving. No, he doesn't want it. But yeah, he is the one that really deserves it. And they punked him. They punked him, even to the point where she's at the Iron Throne. She's looking at the Iron Throne. She's, oh, like, she's like, I oh got my, my sense of accomplishment. Did you see her eyes? Her no. eyes were like so huge when she was looking at, I was like, wow, yeah. she looks like a little kid. It's duty is the death of love, not love is the death of duty. No, it's, Tyrion said, love is the death of duty. And then John turned around no, and it's said. Duty is the death of love. Listen. Tyrion said, love is the, no, I said it right. Love is the death no, of duty. The and then way. John turned around and said, yes, and sometimes duty is the death of love. They both said it and he reversed it. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, there was confirmation in the um, thing. Yeah, they uh, said it both, they said it both ways. So we get to, <laughs> we get to uh, outside of the, uh, outside of the Red Keep. And um, Drogon is guarding the uh, throne. Right. John comes in and he was like, oh, it's you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you slide. You called that last week. Yep. 
You called that one last yep. week. You said that he was going to kill the dragon by that way. Right. He was going to be able to tell that it's just him and let and leave him vulnerable for John to kill him. But it worked the other way. It was so. the other way around. Right. So he lets her in and... And, and, and let me show. Let me tell y'all people out here how the devil works, okay? Because he go. walks in. John walks in. Kind of, he just walks into darkness. You see Daenerys there. She's admiring the throne. She senses John there. And then she goes in. You know, my Her brother told me. Her demeanor changes. Oh, my goodness. I was like, what? She's like, my brother told me that Where'd the that Iron come Throne from? was made of a thousand swords um, from the enemies of Aegon Targaryen. You know, back then, I couldn't even count to 20. And John was like, who is you, Chick? You was just, you was just, we will conquer the world. Now it's, yeah, so when I was a little girl, I'm like, yo. Like, you just turned it, like, you just snapped back into this. Season two, three. Somewhere, yeah. Somewhere in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Real quick. So then, for... The, I don't want to say fifth or sixth time, Daenerys tries to hit on her nephew again. And she was like, yo, let's be with me. Let's be incest family. Let's rule the kingdoms together. Rule by my, build this new world with me. And then I was fooled. I was fooled. Partially, partially. Because yeah, when John went and kissed her, I said, oh, now he want to take one for the team. Now he want to take one for the team. And boy. <laughs> Dre said Daenerys was bipolar. <laughs> it Dude. sure seemed like it. When she switched that up real quick, I was like, who is that? Yeah. Where did she come from? Yeah, that she, can't be the same chick that just gave that amazing speech. She got all, <laughs> she got all sweet and innocent on us. And then I'm just like, oh, okay. That, that's that's what we're doing. All right, cool. Um, So... <laughs> I, I, they, he had me fooled for a second. I was like, okay, he's really up to something. I don't know what it is, but he just punked me out. He just punked out and he's kissing her. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over it. I'm so over it. And, and then we heard, and I thought I heard it, but I was like, no, that didn't happen. But see, what I thought was. <laughs> that didn't happen. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I thought she got him. Yeah. I thought I, she I got him. No, I knew it was her. But I just nah, I, I didn't. I thought she, I thought she moved in to kiss him to to drop his guard because he's already, but she's a queen. And he's already in that mode. So with that, I thought she went. Up, I thought she kissed him, pulled him in to kill him and be like, okay, now there's nothing to stand in my way because you are the right, truth. Right, you are the truth. Okay, I can see that. So that's that's I what that's didn't, where didn't my mind was, was. But then I saw her reaction. And I was like, <gasps> and I'm going to be honest with you. This was the highlight of the episode. Yeah. It really was. This was the highlight of the episode. It really was. The death it's of the, sad that it was like 20 minutes in. The death of Daenerys was the best part of this was the, this was the red wedding moment of this episode. This was the, oh, because I didn't see that coming. Yeah. Not by a long shot did I see this coming. Uh... <laughs> Yep, no. see, uh, even Andre said it. You said uh, Daenerys Shane John. <laughs> like, that's what yeah. I thought. I, 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 and then I thought it was Arya. Because I was like, I don't remember seeing John with anything. And John is just head over heels right now. And Arya followed him in because Arya didn't think that he would, he had enough brain power to take care of his business. Right, but you have time. to, you have to learn the, you have to learn the, the method of what it is in this, that she can't just go into looking like somebody. She no, I thought she like threw it or something. I didn't think she changed or anything. Oh. I thought she like threw it or something. No, 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 no. Right, see, first off, because I thought maybe it was a off, needle. First off, Drogon ain't going, Drogon ain't going to let her get that close. I didn't think that far. That's number one. I didn't think that far. I, all I was thinking of is right there in the throne room, Arya followed him, and you know, Arya be sneaking up. Arya be showing up places. I, she could have got past that dragon. <laughs> she just be showing up places. So I was like, well, maybe maybe that's Arya, but then they didn't show anybody behind him. Well, I was like, oh, it was, shoot. It was him. John did. And, and what, I, what I liked about it was that Drogon, I guess Drogon sends her life force. Yes. And he, uh, it's like, yo, that's my, and, but then he was like, yo, she dead. She got a knife in her. Ain't nobody in here but, but you. you. <laughs> but you. 
<laughs> but I still can't kill you. Yep. So guess what? Don't nobody get the throne. <laughs> I was like, Yo, yeah. Y'all didn't know that Drogon was a little black boy? <laughs> He's like, I don't care, yo. Don't nobody getting the throne now. Shoot. She gonna hurt my mama. She hurt my mama. She gonna hurt my mama. But then, and it was funny because I was like, you know, is this the episode, is the episode titled Death to the... Death to uh, the Queen. No, Death to the Throne. Oh. That's the end of the... Oh, but that was a cool image though with yeah. uh, Drogon just like melting the Iron Throne, so... Death um, to the Iron Throne. That's what I called it. That's the that's the name of this episode. Death to the Iron Throne. Stop saying that, cause people won't think that. <laughs> that's what she's calling it. That's what that's she's. A, that now when it come out tomorrow and it says Death to the Iron Throne, don't I will say give that. You, I will give you all the props in the world, but we already know that that's not going to be the title of the thing because they don't. They're never that simple. Yeah. The freaking Battle of Winterfell was called the Long Night. All right. Yeah. The episode after that was called the Last of the Starks. Yeah. Then the episode with the with King's Landing was called the Bells. Like I, I don't get what they're calling the ep- what they how they name these episodes. I mean, I get how they name them afterwards, but there's no way of telling yeah. what they're gonna name these things. Um, but he uh, melted the Iron Throne, and I'm like, oh, okay. So that that's how we're gonna do it. But then what, one thing that they did that I did not like, there was a huge time lapse. Yeah, from when, yeah. And nobody, you didn't know it until, I think Tyrion said something or. No, it was until when they showed up at the court. Yeah, and they somebody said, said something somebody a couple said, weeks. No, somebody said, where's, no, it wasn't a couple oh, weeks. Oh, where's John? Somebody right, said, where's right, John? Right, where's John? Because we didn't know he had been arrested. We didn't know anything. We didn't right. know that they knew and when what we, was going on. And when we saw John, John looked like he'd been in that, that he'd been in hole for months. Well, Tyrion said, um, I've had, since I've. He said, I've had time to, these last couple of weeks, I've had time, only had time to think. So it made me think it's been probably months that the, that he's been in there. Right. And so, you know, they can't just try, for all of them to get to uh, King's Landing, it takes time. So right. we knew it would have been time to get there. So saving, going through the explanation of all the political nonsense that we went back, I mean, again, we reverting back to Star Wars where... We went from a space battle with Jedi to now we're just we're talking about the taxation of trade routes amongst the galactic uh, galactic republic, and I'm like, who cares? Yeah, like, pretty much. <laughs> so pretty much. the one good moment that came out of this thing was the dude that stood up and it was like, well, you know, I've I'm a tenured uh, I'm, I'm a tenured Yo, member of, of one of the families of. I am a two-time war veteran, and Sansa was like, Uncle, sit down. down. <laughs> <laughs> and the dudes was like, yo, he just, you know. <laughs> Everybody's face when he did that was hilarious. <laughs> I was like, dang, she just, and then he didn't move, so she, you know, you know how your mom, your mother moved her eyes, be like, Look, let's you know. go, let's go. <laughs> And then, and then he oh could, my and then, god! And then he couldn't even bow out gracefully because he tried and his sword, sword hit the pole. Yeah. <laughs> it's it like, was done. That had to, to me. That was that. That right there was the funniest. Everybody part. sitting there like trying not to laugh. Yeah, that that was, that was funny. Yeah, dude, you just got yeah. <laughs> but uh, so long story less long, Bran gets chosen as king. I called that, and everybody shot me down. She called it. She called it. <laughs> well, Rachel. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly yeah, that's exactly what she said. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Everybody heard that and she just said, Uncle, sit down. Right. Everybody else heard that. Bran yeah. gets named King by uh okay. by suggestion of Tyrion. Um and, and it was a wise decision because again he can't bear any kids. And to um, break that cycle, they need that. Right. So there's no, you know, King's kids going crazy. The next king will be named, and then right. when his time is up, the next king will, will be, be named. named. So right. basically, they're going to a presidency by vote of the houses. The houses yeah. So um, everybody gets their vote. <laughs> everybody says I, except for Sansa, and this was yes. this was surprising, but to me, I didn't like this choice, and this is another ding that I'm giving the show. I didn't like this choice because with Sansa leaving Winterfell um, as an inter- as a independent kingdom, the North as an independent kingdom, 
it's because of her jealousy that she wasn't named a successor as queen. Right. This creates tension. This creates another story arc yeah. that that could be explored. If you're going to give us the happy ending, give us the happy ending. Yeah. Say, that's my brother. I'm proud of my brother being named King. You know what? I'm going to support my brother. Nah, you didn't know the sounds of was black? Because she just <laughs> became a crab in the barrel. All right? What? You going to pick him? Oh, my goodness. You going to pick him over me? You know what? I don't even want to play. You know what? I'm going to start my own kingdom. How about that? Winterfell going to be its own nation. What? Say something. I so agree with Rachel. <laughs> Rachel said, uh, being wise is a powerful thing. Tyrion was in handcuffs and making laws. Yes, I caught that. I was like, yo, this dude, he peeped to make sure Grey Worm ain't pull his knife or nothing on him. <laughs> no, and they wouldn't just, let him. They wouldn't let him. But then he just, he actually... The fact that they actually asked him, what should we do? You in handcuffs. What should we do? No, and let, then, me, let, me, let me set this up properly. Let me set okay. this up properly. Because my man Davos, all right? Yeah. Davos was the catalyst of this. Davos on that panel was the oldest, mm -hmm. was sort of the wisest on this thing and says, listen, you have been a hand, master of coin, all this stuff, all right? Even though... You didn't, ultimately, you didn't uh, win over um, Daenerys with your council. You still had wise counsel. Right. So what would you do in this scenario? And Grey Worm was trying to shut him up, and I was like, nah, let him talk. But that was, on, that was on the hands of Davos, who was like, listen, I'm the oldest one here. I'm going to speak. Now you Man. get to speak. Tarion is the G for real. Yeah, he he actually was like, listen, this is <laughs> this is what we should do. Brian said he drinks in those things. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I but I think he being wise, being who he was, and I always said that he was the only Lannister that had sense. Yeah, he has always through the whole thing. He was the only, and the thing well, is, well, he was the only Lannister that wasn't treated like a Lannister. That's true, too. And like uh, someone else said, um, someone else asked if he wanted to be on the throne, and he said no. Yeah. But if it wasn't Bran, it should have been him. Right. It, but we know how much controversy that would have caused. Right. And I think he knew that in order for it not to cause that controversy, right. I don't want to be anywhere near the throne. Right. So when Bran said, I want you to be the hand, which I knew was coming, um, because no one else is qualified. Uh, no I one else was qualified. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. But not even uh, Davos. No, Davos. What Davos doesn't because Davos. There was no, Davos there was can't no, even read. Then there was no one else qualified to be the hand but him. Right. And, and well, <laughs> he's the he's the one with the actual government experience, so to speak. There's, so there was no one there to. But, no, they all were government had government experience. They were all no, the no, well, no, 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 no. Right. None, none of them ever held high council. Right. And you're right, you're right, you're right. Tyrion has been high council in more than one kingdom, so he pretty much knows what he's doing. But the but the thing is, uh, with him being being in that role, was uh, it was sort of punishment for yes. him. I like the because, way I like the way Bran said yeah, that. Yeah, because what Bran said was like said justice that. is being served. Because yes, under. Under his with his counsel, he's made a whole lot of mistakes. Now he's going to spend the rest of his life fixing those very same yeah. mistakes, which was, I think, probably one of the best written pieces yeah. of this whole episode. Yep, and I totally agree with that. I want to get off this political nonsense because this is not uh, Westeros and N. <laughs> not right. WNN. Right, 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 right. Um, <laughs> because we we so we run out of said, stuff to talk said, about. <laughs> are we are we satisfied? No. Um, are we satisfied? I think so. Well, I don't. I think Tyrion would have been king, would have been a great king, but I again no. it would have been too much. I think Bran is, and the reason that he gave for Bran being king was amazing. Tyrion was not suitable to be king because Tyrion still has impulses. The, right. the minute you give him more than three cups of wine, he now he's trying to get into the brothels. Now he's you know making a mess of things, and he would have repeated the same mistakes as Robert Baratheon, right. who got drunk and you know wanted to go start hunting boar, and that's how he died. Right. You know, so 
Tyrion wasn't fit to be a king. He's he's fit to be a hand because he knows business. Right. All right. He knows how to he knows Strategy. how to run. And yeah, basically his basically his job is to run run the kingdom. He's the executive pastor. Exact. <laughs> he's the, he's C- the exa- he's, he's a, he's the COO. COO. Right. That, that, that's what he right. is. Right. He's the COO, the executive pastor of Westeros. Um but um, I'm not satisfied with it because I was expecting a little bit more of oohs and ahs and a couple of more chairs yeah. uh, to go with it. Um, Arya basically, her once she killed the Night King, Arya was almost useless. Yeah. Um, Sansa never got to have her debate of any sort. She just kind of like, okay, well, I'm just going to do my own thing now and... I'm going to go back to the north. We're going to stay up there, and we're going to stay by ourselves. And, yeah, I don't have any rule over us. We're Rachel, I agree. What did she say? Uh, uh, except for in this, in in the past episodes, yes, the hand has been the king. But this one, I don't think is going to work. If if they kept going, I don't think, I don't think that. Well, no, um, if you look at that title, the hand, all mm-hmm. right, it's literally like, okay, I am the king, and this is you, Tyrion. Right. You are... My right hand, you are the one that's going to worry about the little nicks and knacks and everything like that. So it, it's basically it's the, COO. It, 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 it's the yeah. equivalent of Tyrion being king. But if Bran overrules him for something, then OK, then that, that's it. Him, right. So well, uh, it, it, it came out when they were at the table, when they were at the table and they were looking for the dragon. And he said, um, he said, all of these things we don't have yet. Right. Tyrion said, okay, yes, we will be bringing you people to fill those positions. Where's the dragon? We don't know. Well, I'll go find the dragon. Y'all figure out the rest of the stuff. Right. <laughs> Let me go do this. Y'all take care of all the business stuff. And that's it. Let me know when everything works out. I'm gone. Right. So he basically said he basically said the same thing. Right. Happy points in this. Uh, Bron got a uh, high garden, as promised. Uh, yes. Broderick became a knight. Um, and of course, because Tyrion was there, um, Tyrion was there, was it, was Bran there? Bran? For, 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 uh, Brienne's knighting? No. Okay. So, but because Tyrion was there for Brienne's mm-hmm. knighting, she, her status as a knight remains. Uh, a little touching moment with Brienne, um, in the history books, uh, the official history books, she started to write Jamie Lannister's, um, history. Right. Um, as told by her, which was a more honorable history um, because it ended, he died protecting his queen. And I said, wouldn't it be interesting if she was pregnant? No, because then it would have, that again, that's another thing that you could have continued on with the story. Right, I, and I, I agree. I, and, and I really don't, there, were a, there was a lot of open-ended things to this thing that I did not like. Like I wanted to see some finality. Like this is the yeah. series. Fin- this is the series finale, not the season finale, the series finale. The- I wanted to see some finality and some things. If Jon Snow was appointed to the Night's Watch, I wanted to see him rebuilding the Night's, the Night's Watch. Watch right. He just went out with the Wildlings. Yeah. Like okay, so you just become a Wildling. Like that's that's what you do. I was like because one of the stipulations for him being on Night Watch was he could not have. A wife. I'm like, he with the Wildlands. That's how he got his first wife. <laughs> and he married her for real. <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah, that's totally not going to work. He married, Kate Harrington married uh, the, the Wildlands. Yeah, you told Wildlings. me that. She, he married her in real life. So wow. that, Yeah, that's... I was like, yeah, that's, never mind. Okay. It's not going to work. <laughs> but yeah, I'm with you. I, and Rachel just said something. Um, that Arya needs a 10 episode adventure, her adventure story um, that should never be over. And that's another open-ended thing where you see her just sailing what's west we don't know what's west well we're gonna go west to find out what it is you can that can go on forever right um so gray worm and his people they go back to their land um go he 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 went to the place where him and Missandei sunday said that they was gonna go Mm -hmm. live um so he went there um and then yeah so they're it, 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 there was a whole lot of open endedness and not not a lot of fin- finality, which means that it's like I didn't feel like I got a series finale wrap up. I feel like I got a story arc wrap up. Yeah. And there was like three or four more stories that can happen now instead of okay, because what they did was 
I'm going to go find, nobody knows where Drogon is. I'm going to go find him. Yeah. Cool. What happens next? What, right. what happens? Not like, yeah, he, he was seen, blah, 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 blah. And they saw his ashes or they saw his, his nothing else. That I, every, I think everyone's, um, everyone's, like you just said, everyone's character arc is left open. Right. So that they can keep going. There's a million different stories that we can continue on from that. And then the next Game of Thrones thing that we're going to get is going to be a prequel. So that's, you know, no spinoffs, no anything like that. And um, just to address, I know because a lot of people, um, I know a lot of people were like upset with this season and they felt like the season was rushed. I just want to address this um, because I did a little bit of digging. Mm -hmm. It was the actors Mm -hmm. who requested the shorter season. Oh, really? Yeah, because um, right now, like, People are starting to branch off and do other things. Right. The longer you stay in a series, the longer you become typecast. Right. Okay. So you look at uh, you look at Maisie Williams, Arya Stark. Mm-hmm. We've been seeing her since she was 11 years old. Right. That girl is 21 years old now. Like yeah. she's like, I can show some boobs now. Like it, it's kind of uncomfortable if you've been watching since season one because you kind of feel like you grew up with her right. and you still kind of view her as a little kid. As a little kid. Right. So when you see her naked and getting some, it's like kind of uh. like you know. You look at uh, Sophie Turner, signs to start. Right. All right. You look at her. You see her as the redhead, and now you see her going off and getting married as a blonde. She's supposed to be the Phoenix and X Men. Right. And then what's next after after that? Every time we see her on screen, it's been blonde hair. Right. I mean, it's been red hair. And right. she's not going with the red hair. You know, Amelia Clark, she was in Terminator. Yep. I only see you as Khaleesi. You know, That's she it. was a That's it. I can't see her as nothing else. So they requested that they did a shorter season with longer episodes. Um that which is why it took the two years to finish the um to finish the whole um thing because they want to start branching out into other, other stuff. Things. Um and they don't want to be tied to another um, they don't want to be tied to another two or three seasons to finish out the art that they really wanted to finish up. Right. So that's kind of... Because I think we saw... Uh, who was it? Uh, the guy that, that got high garden. Bron. We saw him in and, uh, John Wick 3, John Wick 3 uh, the other day. So yeah, I, I definitely can understand that, especially when you have se- series and seasons that overlap into other shows um, because all of them go out to um all of them are in other shows yeah um yes rachel she was in terminator as a younger sarah connor Mm -hmm. yep yep so (laughs) yeah she she was in in that i think it was a terminator genesis um the really really bad one so yeah all right so guys that's it give us your thoughts on the series finale of game of thrones did you like it did you not like it how did you like the series um did you thought the series was fulfilling did you think that it was lacking did you think it was rushed or do you think that they hit just the right beats at the right time let us know in the comments we'll go back to um do some and and get into the conversation with you and um i just on another note there was somebody in my facebook Mm -hmm. that was pissed at me when I um, cheered about Danny, Danny getting killed. Why? I, I'm going to read this to you because, uh, well, the, because it's out in the public and, you know, if you go and say something like this, I think you just kind of deserve to get it read out on the air. Yeah. I'm not going to call your name out, but. Okay. Uh, so what I, what somebody said was John is a dirty man. And I said, and I love him for it. They said, that was so dirty. I'm so angry right now. And I'm like, hold up. Yo, she killed children. She got a, she got to go. They said, so she had a she had to conquer on um, Queen Lannister casualties will happen. What? I said That's Daenerys' little sister. <laughs> <laughs> that is so Daenerys' little sister right now. So I said, uh I said, there's collateral damage and then there's a massacre. Those people didn't even like Cersei. They did not. Um, they they did not deserve to die. No, they didn't. The bells rang. The soldiers surrendered. Everything that happened after that was just straight murder. Right. There, there is no. There is no way right. around it. That's murder. And then the response was, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but I don't agree. They betrayed her." 
Yeah, that's Daenerys' little sister. <laughs> Hello. Glad to meet you. But I want to say, if there's another series or another uh, show that you would like us to review, let us know what it is. Um, I think I'm currently watching um, HBO's Succession. Uh, You're watching shows. Sneaky Pete. Sneaky Pete. You're going to do some solos on this. Yeah, Sneaky Pete, Succession, um, Billions. Uh, I think those are the three that I'm currently watching. Um, if you haven't watched those shows, awesome shows. If you like Succession, if you like Billions, you'll like Succession. You won't necessarily like Sneaky Pete, but you'll like the other two. Um, any other shows that you'd like us to review, let us know. We'll take the time. We'll watch them. We'll have a conversation with them. All right. Guys, that's it for us. Thank you for joining us once again. I'm Dre. This is TQ. Make sure you follow us on social media under these tags that you see right here. And we will see you guys next time. Remember, we hop the theaters so you don't have to. Peace.